welcome to analytics with nax video we are going to see about how to get the data from stored procedure into power bi you may be having a database and uh, your data will be fetched only if you pass some parameters or you need to run a procedure then only you can receive the data that may be a standard procedure in some organization so in that cases what you need to do what are the different steps uh, if you have a uh, without parameter that is our job is very simple you just give the procedure name if it is having a parameter it requires some little bit of code and some kind of tricks let us see in this demo if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button to learn the concepts in power bi we are in power bi now and uh, moreover uh, to explain it uh, in a simpler way uh, i am in uh, power query editor let us go and get the data from sql server using a procedure and uh, you can even write uh, some sql script right so let us try to go step by step so let us try to write once sql query so this is our sql query i'm running it i'm getting the data there are around 296 i'm just uh, need uh, employee location along with the department okay so this is absolutely fine this is what i want so let us take this query and write this query in power bi so this works fine um, you can see here this is my details let me key in in uh, power bi so that um, it will be very quick i can copy and paste so this is how you can write a query okay now you can see the data over here it will be uh, fetched without any issues now let us store this table as um, uh, this query as a table table query uh, select okay this is fine Th this is so simple just to understand where you can uh, able to write the queries once again i will go and uh, fetch uh, the same details over here i mean to say uh, i want to write one procedure there are two procedures i have now first we will see uh, with uh, without parameter let us try to see this procedure get employee uh, let me open the code here so this particular procedure uh, does the same whatever i have written it here instead of writing the select statement you can write any of the complex logics inside this procedure but i am trying to select only the uh, dim employee by passing this when you call this procedure so how you will call usually people in sql you are familiar with execute procedure name that that doesn't have any parameters so instead of uh, writing the sql like this if you call this one execute then you will get same 296 results here so let us try to do this one right now so for that uh, before that i will go for uh, paste it here and i will use uh, those uh, server details once again uh, this is my details <coughs> be with me this is fine right i mean uh, we, we, again we have got uh, the same results let us click on ok now uh, you see the same set of results you are getting it here in a, another table so uh, one is with sql another is with uh, sp without uh, parameter param this is fine once you get this uh, data then the next process is similar you will get it as a uh, two tables then you can build your reports this is uh, very much we are aware of now the complex part comes here like uh, when you have parameters what happens when you have parameters let us try to see uh, one of the procedure here uh, you see the get employee uh, parameter i have written another procedure it takes one parameter and uh, based on the parameter passed you will get the results what i'm trying to say so here you see there are 296 employees i want only the marketing person whoever in marketing so i can pass this marketing in this uh, procedure like um, get employee param marketing then instead of uh, 296 i will get only 10 employees whoever in the marketing department so 
that is what I will get. So I will alter the, this procedure like adding a department name as well so that it will be easy to understand. I will put department name and I will alter it. I will run once again. So now I want finance. Let us try to uh, get uh, maybe production. So production. So this time I will get along with the department production only people in production there are a lot of uh, employees in production so uh, let, let us find that is fine whatever it can be so now i need to call this procedure with some parameters how to achieve it this is little tricky uh, so requires some kind of steps that's what we are going to see right now so again let us go for um, uh, new query okay for that uh, what i'm trying to say is uh, let us try to uh, how it will be passed in uh, power bi right for that you need to get this distinct list you see if you uh, run this one you will get uh, 16 uh, distinct list over here that is your results so let us take this one and put it in uh, power bi as a enter data now let us let us copy it I will rename it as department. Ah, it's so my spelling is wrong always. Department, okay. List of uh, department. Then the second step is to uh, convert it as list. Um, right click in the column and convert it as list. Keep it as such, okay. This is your department list. You can rename it as well if you want department list fine then here also okay that is not changing department list this is fine okay now the second step is to uh, call this procedure right uh, uh, dynamically like over here uh, whatever you are calling it here instead of processing it i need to convert it select from that list that is the thing you want to do so let us take this one and um, go to here then keep the new query as again once again new sql then or uh, in the existing parameter we can do it not an issue so go to advanced editor let's see how it is called here uh, this is without uh, parameters now with parameters when you have it the query will look like this okay it will be having a query look like this exactly the same uh, let's try to paste it so instead of here if I choose a parameter here uh, it will be looking like uh, finance okay finance it's okay so now this is uh, without parameter and I changed it to with parameter now this is fine now i get only the people with finance okay this is what it is so when you pass it along with the parameter you just pass it a parameter now this part has to be changed dynamic how to do it for that you need to add a little bit code as i pointed out here let us try to edit it <coughs> so what i'm say saying here is i need to uh, use this uh, department okay for that you need to create one uh, list of uh, list right department list i will rename it as select uh, department okay and uh, in the advanced editor you are using that you are using that um, parameter over here okay so that select department that uh, list i have created there i'm using it as select uh let this will be assigned as parameter then use that uh, department whatever the list i have created in this parameter okay earlier you saw i have given as finance instead i will get it from that list that we have created before now click as soon as click on okay this will convert as a function this will not convert as a <coughs> i mean to say the st stored procedure with parameter uh, what is the step here when you have a static value you cannot perform much so you need to make it dynamic for that you making it as a function using the script okay 
then what I'm doing when I do a finance I pass on function parameter this is giving me a value that is SP finance okay this function is giving me a value here I should not use this function I mean uh, uh, I mean when you pass uh, value to this function SPW parameter finance <laughs> that will take that parameter and pass it to the stored procedure then you will get this result so in this place instead of uh, choosing this I need to use select department that parameter whatever value it holds then press enter so <coughs> the type has to be changed um, give me a minute okay <coughs> fine so here what you need to do is this is static list actually this is not assigned to a parameter we are not yet created a parameter so what you need to do you need to create a parameter so this is nothing but a department okay already is there I'll name it as par department then it should be a text and it should be a, a list of values uh, it's not it's not a list of values it's a query select department so this is what i said see uh, when you choose this particular list i mean it becomes uh, your value here you give some value that is a default value <coughs> then here The parameter that you have created okay the par department par department there you go so basically what we have did is like it will be really confusing if you see all these things this is your final table basically so your final table is nothing but employee list okay this is your final table let me walk through once again the list of steps so we have <coughs> done one script that is uh, when you have this parameter uh, dynamic uh, parsing so here you are trying to change one code this param is nothing but uh, whatever values you are getting it from here that is from the list okay that list you are specifying it here then uh you are creating a parameter okay this parameter from where it is uh, getting the value uh, let me manage it so <coughs> this parameter is should be chosen right when you go to the reporting tab power bi that you will be very much familiar so this is nothing but a list of departments the people wants to pass it as a parameter then that should be dynamically chosen in a par param okay so you are creating a parameter here that parameter you are passing it in the function so spwr it becomes a function now okay as you can see this becomes a function and that parameter you are passing in this function that is what we are doing now once you go here close and apply <sighs> you know you can ignore all other uh, things that is not in the uh, whichever is not required let us try to view the data here so now you can see only the finance data uh, the finance data is appearing it may increase the value slightly that will be much better now in order to see the different departments go to here edit parameters there you can choose between different uh, <coughs> departments when you once you click on uh, uh, different departments the respective value is changed now you can see the executive and even you can change the different values as well quality assurance so it is different values first time it's applying 
earlier I used to apply other uh, functions that's what it is asking so quality assurance you give okay then it's working fine I hope uh, you uh, like this video and understand the complexity uh, how you need to achieve when you have a parameters uh, in stored procedure hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset